Hi, my name is Dr. Helen Zen, and I'm the Director of Scientific Operations here at California Cryobank. I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you details about our at-home insemination option and answer some questions that you may have. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any additional questions. Thank you for choosing California Cryobank to be a part of your fertility journey. When you first receive the tank from us, please check the condition of the tank before starting the insemination process. You can verify the tank condition by following these few easy steps. Open the box and set aside the inner foam inserts. You'll need them later to ship back the tank. Please note that some smaller tank may not have a foam insert. Verify that there is a blue seal strap securing the tank lid to the tank. Safely, cut the blue strap with a pair of scissors. Using an upward motion, lift the lid of the tank. Do not twist the lid. It's perfectly normal to see some cold vapor or smoke from the tank when the lid is open. If you're not proceeding with the insemination process right away, securely close the lid until you're ready. If you notice that the blue strap is broken or missing upon receipt of the tank, or if the tank does not have the presence of cold vapor when you first open the tank, please call us immediately before proceeding. After you check the condition of the tank for the seal strap and the presence of cold vapor, it's important that you also check to make sure you receive the vials that you ordered. To do so, follow these few simple steps. While wearing protective gloves and eyewear, remove the metal cane from the sleeve of the tank. Compare the shipping document to the actual vial label. Be sure to verify that the item number, item description, and the quantity received are correct. If you're not using the vials immediately, place the vials back onto the cane and return the cane into the tank. If the shipping content does not match the specimen label, please call us immediately before proceeding. When you're ready for the insemination process, follow these few simple steps to remove the vial from the tank. Be sure to wear protective gloves and eyewear before starting. Then slowly lift the metal canister upward from the sleeve of the tank. You should see the top of the blue cane at this point. Remove the blue cane and clear plastic tube from the canister. The inner canister is very cold, so take caution not to touch the exposed metal with your bare hands. Once you remove the cane from inside the tank, slowly slide it out of the plastic tube to expose the vial. Using your thumb and index fingers, remove the vial from the cane. Please feel free to call us if you have any questions. When you're ready for the insemination process, remove the vial to be immediately used from the metal cane inside the tank. At room temperature, place a vial in an upright position on a flat surface for approximately three to five minutes or until the initial frost is gone. Hold the vial upright in your hands to bring the vial to body temperature. This should only take a few minutes. It is very important not to invert the vial during the thawing process. Please call us if you have any questions. Peel back the tabs on the syringe package and remove the syringe from the packaging. Set it aside on a clean surface. With one hand holding the vial in an upright position and the other hand on the vial cap, slowly unscrew the vial cap by turning counterclockwise. Set the vial cap down and pick up the syringe. Before inserting the syringe into the vial, pull back on the syringe plunger to draw in a small amount of air then push on the plunger to expel the air out. Then slowly into the syringe into the vial and draw out the entire content into the syringe. Be sure to slowly insert the syringe into the vial to prevent any spillover. If the solution is too thick to draw into the syringe, allow it to sit at room temperature for no more than 30 additional minutes to liquefy. 
Once the specimen is in the syringe, you can proceed with the insemination process. Please see our instructions for basic insemination guides. Please follow these few easy steps to pack the tank for return. Place the metal cane back inside the tank. Slowly close the tank lid. It's perfectly normal to see some cold vapor or smoke spill out of the tank as you close the lid. Place a foam insert on the top of the tank. Please note that some smaller tanks may not have a foam insert. Close the shipping box and seal it with clear packing tape. Add the return label to the outside of the box. Once the tank is properly sealed inside the shipping box, you can either return it to one of our local facilities near you or to a FedEx office. Please feel free to call us if you have any questions.